Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I redo the floor in this bedroom with no experience at all. Now, as you can see, this carpet is really, really old. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna replace it or not. This is for um, my little boy. This is his bedroom. And then I thought, well, let me look underneath the carpet first. So what I did, I just got this flathead screwdriver and I just kind of started working the corner and then as you can see it lifts up and I was able to pull it back at first I was completely grossed out let me put on the light so you can see better okay there you go so at first I was completely grossed out look at this carpet or this padding underneath what does that look like to you yeah, it just looks like a bunch of hair, doesn't it? Look at this. It's like hair. Like, oh my gosh, look at all that hair on the carpet. Come to find out, it's horse hair padding, carpet padding, from about the 1960s. So, my little boy has allergies and he has um, an airway issue. So I thought best thing to do is rip this up. And then as you can see, look at how old this is underneath. And you see how it just kind of flakes off. You see all that dust. So yeah, I um, think hiring a professional is the absolute best way to go. However, I do not have the money to hire a professional. I looked into it and it's just, I just can't afford it. So I either have to figure out how to do it myself or I can't do it at all. So I'm gonna walk you through what I did. You can see that there is tack strips all along the side so of course be careful and wear a mask because this is a this is really dusty so i literally i'm just using my hands you see how that just comes just comes out okay so i'm going to continue to do this oh yeah and look at those stains underneath Ugh. Yeah, I'm glad I'm doing this. Yeah, so I also wanted to point out, I don't have room to put all of my son's stuff. Now, all, not all of his stuff is in the room, but I don't have room to put a lot of his stuff. So I am gonna be working over here, and then I kind of just pushed the stuff I don't have room for on the other side. And then when I get over there, I'm just gonna move it over here. I mean, that's just what I have to do. Um, ignore this, this is Play-Doh. And I didn't vacuum it up because I know that I'm going to be getting rid of the carpet. And here is all the horsehair carpet padding. Okay, and I'm going to show you how we're getting up these tack strips. You want to go where a nail is and you get a flathead screwdriver and you just put it underneath, get a hammer, and just tap the edge of the hammer. Then you just kind of pry it up, do it again. And trust me, if I can do this, literally anybody can do this. But these things are sharp, so be careful. That's how you get that up. Okay, so the next thing that we're doing is taking up all these baseboards. And as you can see over here, we've already pulled these up. And wow, isn't it amazing what you find underneath like carpets and walls? Look at this really old, I don't even know. I guess this was like a little, look at these like little pictures here. That is so interesting. Look at that. So interesting. Oh, what does that say? It says something. Something Tim. Wow. But look at this wall. This is an old, old place here. You can see it's like blue. So anyways, I'm just showing you this because we're taking up the baseboards. You don't know what you're going to find underneath it. 
but then we're getting a shop vac and getting all of this out. You see how we got all of those baseboards up. Now let me show you how I'm getting the baseboards up. Okay, so this is how we're getting the baseboards off. Again, flathead screwdriver, tapping it with a hammer. You gotta be really careful because you don't want to break one in half unless you're putting in new baseboards. But you just kind of do that every few inches. I feel like we're gonna be professionals after this. <laughs> Guys, like I said, definitely uh, hire a professional if you can afford it. If you can't, just show you that somebody that has no experience whatsoever that has never done this before can actually do it. It did not break. Sounded like it for a second, but it did not. Now this baseboard runs, oh, it doesn't run the whole way of the wall. I'd say about half the wall, so it's pretty long. You see how that's just coming right out, the nails behind. Look at all that dust, you see that on the camera? Even still, and all that horsehair carpets up. So it's all from behind the baseboards. Yeah, it ends right there. Also, guys, make sure that you pay attention to which baseboard goes where. We're just marking it back with a Sharpie because you don't want to get that um, mixed up. I guess that matters sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Wow, look at under here now. Look at this. Here's the walls, they're like painted white, but that is something. I'm really interested in old history of homes. Look at that under there. Old wall. Ooh, that's crazy. Okay guys, also some of the nails you see pull through and they stay on the wall. Most of them came out but there are some that stay, so you gotta make sure that you pay attention and get those out. If they stay in. Yeah, you gotta be careful with like paneling here. Look at this old plug. I know we're not talking about plugs here, but look how old. Okay, so here is me walking through Ollie's. As you can see, they usually have a huge display of all different snap together flooring, DIY laminate flooring. $2.19, you can see right here. I'm sure it varies a little bit depending on where you go. But it's a little bit cheaper than the big box stores or again, having somebody put it in. So that's just why I decided to go this route. All of these, I think, look really, really nice. I have a lot of options. And right here, it kind of tells you how many boxes you need, depending on how big your room is. So yeah, this is just me walking through, trying to figure out which one to get. And then I stumble across this. And I think this one looks really, really nice. Again, this is for my little boy's floor, and I see that it says waterproof. A lot of them were waterproof, though. But then I also seen that it had that padding that was already attached to it, so I felt like that made it a little bit easier. This one looks a little more elegant, so didn't end up going with that one. But this one here, I really, really, really liked this one. Also, we're taking out all the old nails and we're just gonna put in all new trim nails. Now, let me show you the shop vac. We didn't have a shop vac. We had like a little um, three gallon, super cheapy shop vac. 
So we ended up buying this one. This one was only like $40, $50. It's five gallon. It works really good. Now you've seen that horse hair. It has these attachments that we just kind of, you know, and it had another attachment. Where's the, oh, this attachment here. You see this? This, you see how it's almost like a squeegee. This was really good for getting up the horse hair too. Okay, so obviously it's really important to get all the carpet fibers up, all the horse hair or whatever other padding was underneath. And you can see this is what the floor looks like right now. See, this is, um, I don't even know, what is this? That's how much I know. Was it like pressed wood, plywood, whatever this floor is. And let me show you what we ended up getting. So this is from Ollie's. This is $59.76 a box. This is the information if anyone's interested. And a box covers 24.03 square feet. This is the Life Ready Floors. I'm just gonna read you the box. So Life Ready Floors, performance for everyday life. UV cured, uh, let's see, yeah. UV cured urethane coating, eight mil wear layer, designer wood decor, 100% waterproof. That's definitely what I was looking for considering this is going in my four year old's room. Dimensionally stable rigid core, premium high density IXPE embossed waterproof underlayment attached, licensed lock system installation, 20 year residential warranty. This is the rustic living series. Here it says, what does that say? Green Guard. Green Guard certified for low chemical emissions. Gold. Floor score, phthalate, whatever that is, phthalate free, waterproof. Pet friendly, no glue installation. Comfort underfoot, pad attached. Fade resistant, impact resistant, scratch resistant, stain resistant, fire resistant. Abrasion resistant, slip resistant, easy to clean, antimicrobial surface, recyclable material, radiant heat approved. Sorry, it's kind of hard to read it through the screen sometimes. Let's see what one of them look like up close. I really liked this gray color. See that? I thought it was really nice looking. And here's the back. And this is what's on the back of the box. Also, I just wanted to note, because I am not against getting things at like a restore or, you know, like a um, thrift store. So I sometimes do see these um, snap together flooring at those types of stores, but you do gotta be careful because the one that we went to, half of them look pretty good, but then like the coating, like the coating that's up on here, it was like peeling off and some of them like, the lines weren't matched up and even though it was way cheaper i was like oh how much cheaper is this going to be if it's not going to really last if it's in bad quality or whatever so like i said if you can get that and you know it's it's decent quality you know more power to you but unfortunately we tried that option it didn't work out for us okay so i was told to keep these in the room for about 24 hours to let them acclimate to the environment. So I did that. You can see we're working on this half first and something you're gonna make sure you wanna do 
just have a hammer. If you have like these little nails, make sure these are all flush because there was a couple nails sticking up here and accidentally, look what happened. Accidentally put a little cut in one. So make sure all the nails are flat to the floor. Okay guys, as we are doing this, I wanna tell you about a little hiccup that we ran into and it's fixed now, but I was freaking out there for a second. So I'm gonna insert a clip so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so right here on the floor, like I said, it's fixed now, um, but it was raised up a little bit. When you're doing this, feel with your hand the seams. It should be completely smooth. None should be raised up or anything. If they are, that's not good. That could obviously mean that you have an unlevel floor. We don't have an unlevel floor. So I was like, why is that like that? Come to find out, it could be a couple reasons. One of the reasons is because there can be dirt in the track. Let me show you. Okay, so along here, you see where it connects? If there's any dirt, that could be one of the reasons why. So when you're doing it, make sure that you prep the floor very well. I found that out the hard way, but make sure that you, know, you vacuum it at least three times, make sure there's no dust or dirt. Um, also, here, we ran into an issue because we had to cut around the heater here and there were several boards. Now, again, I know you don't see it right now because we were having a panic moment um, because of that. And it might not seem to matter, but it really does, even if it's up just a little bit, because this is my little boy's floor. So I'm like, if he's walking on here on, you know, with bare feet, like he could like cut his foot. So of course you wanna make sure it's all smooth. So underneath here, there's several boards. We had to cut it several different times and we accidentally um, put the track, like snapped it here, but not up there. It was slightly off and you couldn't even tell by just looking at it with your eye, but it was so slight and then it messed it up here more, here more, here more. And then by the time we got down to here, which is where it was up a little bit, um, that's what messed it up and we ended up figuring that out so again i cannot stress enough please make sure when you're putting these all together make sure each side is snapped and then make sure you're feeling it with your hand and make sure it's completely smooth okay guys in this video of putting together the floor i realized i didn't actually show you how it snaps together so obviously this is an old piece but let me show you how it snaps together kind of set it on and then look it's that's on there now let me show you more in detail so here is this track here again you want to make sure there's no dirt but then here is the other one okay and now let me show you from the underside can you snap it together from the underside so they can see okay and then it just locks in place and it's really that simple. Okay, so this is the finished project. As you can see, I started to put my son's room together. But here is the finished floor. Buddy, do you like your new floor? Do you? Well, he shook his head yes. <laughs> um, so ignore the messy toys. But yeah, this is the finished product. And... The room is still a work in progress, but the floor is done and we definitely like it. Thanks for watching. Please share the video.